from this week forward, we're gonna have a course giveaway on this channel, which is shamelessly stolen by just me. Well, to enter this giveaway, you only have to respond to course the question of the day. And of course, the winner will be revealed on Friday. So the more question of the day you respond to throughout this week, the higher chance to have to win, of course, this comma O shiny version giveaway, which is a sexy EV level 100 the EV spread as you see on the screen to get it with of course choice pick which will be included with the Pokemon itself so of course all that said enjoy this video what is up you guys and of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your stroll course the Skyrender and today going up against my good old friend Jack or just me while we're actually playing Wi-Fi battling together against one another for, I do believe, close to... He said three years now? It's kind of extreme. We actually met roughly three years ago um, on YouTube, clearly, when we were both with 100 sub channels, basically. So he's a very good friend, a very smart and very cool Wi-Fi battler. So if you haven't checked him out, which I hope you guys already done, but if you haven't done that, make sure to check out his link down below, because he does some top quality videos. Now, going into this battle, all I can say is... Wow, I don't have a chance here. Uh, the thing is here, I know Meanwhile was building for you no know, top A things going up against you know the things that are viable in OU. So we're going against the Persia, which is not as viable clearly. Mamoswine, Tapafini, Celebens, Magnuson, and Mega Pinsa. And I was basically feeling like you know, as long as I'm not six would I'm fine. <laughs> like then I will do well. I myself is using a pre Specs Prima Arena. Or a Corey with Life Orb, Rhyperior Choice Bandit version, uh, Scarf Gust Lord, Life Orb, Frostlass, and of course, C Move uh, Pangora with me first. And the reason here I'm banded Rhyperior is because I can't have Stealth Rock Steel banks open up. It actually is a tutor move, so I, I had no idea about that. So, yeah. With that said, I definitely didn't have necessarily a good idea what was going to happen throughout this battle. I just basically led with something and I'm hoping that worked. So, with all that said, let's go into the game. So, from the get square, I get a massive momentum, basically, because I'm actually leading off with Pre Marina. I felt that that was the only Pokemon I could take a hit and retaliate. I was definitely suspecting Mammoth Swan to come in. That's kind of the reason I wanted to start like that. So, as I stated, I am Specs, and he will go for a parting shot, which is okay. It means that whatever comes in can take a hit fairly well. Now, his switching is Tapu Fini. And uh, this Pokemon can definitely take a hit. I did go for a neutral Moonblast because no, only Magnuson could take a hit from that. And we crit! So, boom! No type of Fini for you! That's clearly, clearly, that was a fair turn of events. Now, here comes Magnuson. I was like, yeah, I need to get out. There is no way in hell I can take that. So, I'm gonna switch in cookies! Which, of course, being a Gust Lord as um, Jack goes for a Flash Cannon. And it does a lot of damage, so it looks like he can kill me next turn, but I am, of course, Scarfed Variant, which means we can knock out Magnuson straight at it. So from the get-go, it felt that at least I'm not 6 0 here. He still got responses for my team, but I am least doing something. So anyway, Salmonella was comes in here, and there is really nothing I can do for the Salmonella. A really, really, really beautiful name there, Jack S. Cookies need to switch out, and I'm gonna go to Desotroya! Basically, if set up the Dragon Dance, at least I can soak that, as he goes for cause an earthquake. A very, very mighty and good play. But due to Solid Rock, we do take that fairly well, but I kinda wish I was defensive here. And I'm gonna go for Bandit, of course, uh, Stone Edge, as he's switching Manny, and uh, Momentum Shift. Uh, I missed the Stone Edge, which is unfortunate, but not too shabby. But it is, you know, I, I kind of wanted that hit. So anyway, I'm gonna switch in cookies and basically sack him because, you know, what else could I do? There is just no way that the Gust Lord is gonna be useful in this battle. There's just, that, that, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Definitely with Ice Shard in mind, that's just no. So I'm gonna switch in Flay here. And I do believe I go straight on at it for a Sky Apocat. Um, the Season 4 King comes in. I kind of tried to remember what I did. I went for neutral crunch, alright, and that did a lot of damage, but I am not gonna stay in here mainly because it's a freaking mega pincer, it's gonna freaking eat me alive. So I'm gonna bring in Chuchu, which of course being my only response for a possible mega pincer, mainly because while it's not defensive, I do at least take every hit well, but the definition of, you know, resisted hit 
it's it's kind of a green area that's uh, you know it's still it's a possible to it kill which is extremely unfortunate and I do believe here I do go for revelation dance and my opponent winning many so many keeps on his sash which is just wow as the really only thing I can do now is suspecting the ice shot to come and go to my pre marina uh, or on yes and we soaked that really well the ice shot is not necessarily gonna do anything to us as he gonna switch out and go back to salmonella who will get a moon blast to the face to the face and it is not going to take this well and clearly just free fall from that hit so from this point on it looks really well for me uh, I'm not losing a, a lot of Pokemons, I can really take on everything he sends at me as Borkin comes back in here. I'm just gonna take my Choo Choo or my uh, Oricorio because there is really nothing that Pokemon could do. I mean, it basically was a probably a decent response for Pinsir at some point, but clearly that's that's not gonna work as it's just gonna free fall. Now, I have Mabel. Mabel is able to sw or to outspeed Pinsir, which means that I can freely go for a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Will-O-Wisp. He goes for a quick attack instead. I was really feeling a Mamoswine could be a switch in here. Trying to preserve Pinsir because it felt like a big winning condition for him. It is not anymore at least. Now it's definitely it's dead. But you know, I get too much damage from the quick attack and I kind of reserve myself for possible ice shot in the late game here. So I'm going to bring in Desil Troya back again. And um, basically since I am in that area where I, I can't take an earthquake from Mamoswine anyway, I am actually better off just taking whatever earthquake shenanigans or close combat uh, that the Mega Pinsir can do, take you know that hit and retaliate. Uh, now, as stated, I really, really felt bad that I missed that Stone Edge from Mammoth Swine because that means that if it is, of course, a sas sad, bleh, sashed version, that means that there is no way for me of actually naturally knocking that out. So I'm just gonna sack the right period here because I don't have a switching for earthquake. I really, really, really don't. Even though this will try would have been great for, of course, the uh, <laughs> it's a lowland Persian. I do not fear a lowland Persian, my guys. I do not fear that one. So anyway, I'm just gonna bring on. Yes, I felt that was my overall best play because that means I can take an earthquake. I, I will not fall. Uh, we haven't seen any indication that this is a bandit version. As we goes from Moonblast, and uh, as we suspected, sadly. It is sashed, and the reason that's a bad thing is because the only response I have left now is either sending in my Frostlass or go to, of course, Flay, my Pangoro, because we're actually running two for two now. For some reason, I'm just losing mods at, against this Mamoswine, but I do decide to go for Flay, basically for the Bullet Punch. Uh, thinking about it, that was probably dumb, <laughs> mainly because he, of course, gonna bring in the Fur Coat Persian, because that thing gets Fur Coats. And it actually takes this bullet punch really well. Now here's the thing though, I'm pretty sure Skybricat will defeat him. As he goes for a Toxic, which is quite right. And um, you know, the seal damage is definitely up there, but it's not gonna be uh, anything that's gonna work in his favor. But I do miss the Skybricat, you know, when I have 5 accuracy, you know, let's not land that hit, right? As this time it's gonna go for a Fall Play, it won't do anything in any way because it's 4 times resisted. As now we're gonna connect, of course, the Sky Apricat. But we don't KO him, but he's definitely in range of bullet punch, but I was feeling, you know, I got this game in the bag, so I could probably go for my own C move here, as he goes for a C move parting shot, and here is where it kind of dawned on me that, alright, um, you can use these moves now, and the worst part about this, it's not a loose attack itself, That that's okay, it, but the issue is that, his Mammoth Swine gets full HP. I was completely unaware of these moves were working now. And I was basically feeling, oh my god, I'm dumb. Uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> but the thing is though, you know, I go for the me first version of, of course, the C move. Which boosts my speed by 2. Which is awesome. That does mean that this panda, mad panda, will be faster than Mammoth Swine. But, with that said, and quite sadly... The Sky Uppercut is no longer a one-hit KO due to that parting shot. And I lose. Yeah, I mean, there is really nothing to it. I really can't say anything else here. Um, I, I definitely did a misplay there. Um, I shouldn't say that, you know... Uh, how, how do you put it? That um, it was a change of factor not going for Bullet Punch against the Persia because I definitely didn't even think about... Of course, the C move getting, of course, Mammoth, or was working even, but also Mammoth won't get full HP by it. But quite honestly, you know, against Jack, 
I don't, I'm not salty over this kind of loss, I really am not. Because we really both got to showcase exactly what we were all about, and I was being naive to the very end. I was really hoping this Persian was, of course, a more defensive version, because that meant that I at least still got this game in the bag. But no, we do lose, but as I said, it was an incredible game, and quite honestly, you know, the outcome of a 1-0 do not ref reflect, of course, the, the sheer amount of showcases we got for this battle. And for the result that it turned out to be, I am very, very pleased. So, yeah, I guess you leave with, you know, some afterthoughts and whatnot, but all I really can say here is that it is unfortunate that I get a very, very early crit against him, you know, with Pawn Shot and whatnot, against from my Free Marine onto his Tabafini. It would clearly have been able to take in that Moonblast, there is just no way in hell. Even with Specs version, I do believe I'm not even in a 2 kill area. So it's unfortunate. But also, you know, I missed the Stone Edge. I don't predict well with actually my uh, Oricorio not going for Hurricane. I actually went for Revelation, that's going for Safer Move. Uh, I never really break, you know, Mammoth Swine's Sash. And it definitely, you know, till the bitter end actually starting to matter, he's definitely preserved Mammoth Swine well. And yes, you know, I don't, don't go for the bullet punch against the Persian when I had a golden opportunity to just wrap up the game, but for that same reason, it kind of made the game more interesting due to it, because that actually meant that, he, you know, he got to come back, right? You know, he actually took it over, and that has to be worth something, too. Uh, I really, really appreciated this game. It was a very fun, you know, the, the excitement was just, it was definitely up there. And for my money, that's really what Pokemon Wi Fi Bell is all about, and, you know, having such an awesome game with Jack. Just make that all the more better. Uh, so with that said, guys, like I said previously, make sure to check out Jack's channel. He'll probably upload this game in the upcoming days or so. And even if it doesn't, he has a lot of other great Wi-Fi battles going on. And, you know, he's just a very charismatic guy, so definitely check him out. So with that said, guys, thank you, of course, so much for watching. Don't forget to actually, actually answer the question of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, of course, take care. Bye.